curveballs being added to The Sims 4 has many of us feeling both excited and nervous about building with this new wall type. With this in mind, Little Simsy created a circle shell challenge to both inspire and torture us a bit. Because of this, I figured creating something with it that she would probably never build nor play with herself would be fitting. Lil Simsy is known for building suburban family homes and for not liking occults all that much. So I combined these things to create a treehouse vacation rental for plant sims. Plant sims are only a temporary occult, so this build reflects that. When human sims eat strange fruit, they can vacation here for the duration of their buff. Normally in a shell challenge, you aren't able to add more stories to the build, but Simsy said duplicating or stacking her shell was allowed for this one. So I ended up using three of her original circles and included a couple smaller ones as well. Adding decks around the buildings was annoying because it removed all the walls. Thankfully, I was able to just delete the floating windows and duplicate the other circles that weren't broken to replace them. I started out on this 30 by 30 lot in Selva Dorada, but it ended up being too small, so I eventually moved over to the 64 by 64 lot where the archaeology museum used to be. Since plant sims have a water need, I included multiple water sources on this lot. There's a pond and hot springs outside. This small building by the pond is a shower room for sims to use before going into the hot springs. Plant sims don't have a bladder need, so I didn't include any toilets on this lot. There are a few toilet bushes in the landscaping though, just in case you bring any non-plant sims here. Your sims can catch frogs and wade in the pond. There are three hot springs, but the only one that's functional is the middle one. Throughout the lot, I placed some mysterious trees to make things look a bit more mystical since we are having a cult sims visit here. The ones that you can reach are able to be used to go to Sylvan Glade, but when you leave the glade, it'll send you to your home lot and not the vacation rental, just FYI. So I wouldn't recommend using these trees unless it's the last day of your vacation. I wanted this build to be very lush and overgrown, both in the landscaping as well as the buildings themselves. So I added lots of vines and vertical plants on the walls of many of the rooms so that even these built structures feel like they're part of the jungle. On these larger buildings, I used glass roofs so that your plant sims can soak up as much sun as possible. This building is a yoga studio. Having your plant sims practice in here after waking up to catch some of the morning sun 
Seems like an energizing way to start the day. I don't think the glass roofs actually allow your plant sims to absorb sunlight in gameplay, but we can pretend. Bringing the outdoors in was a focus here, so all the rooms have lots of windows and there are no solid doors. Instead, I used archways to keep everything open to the jungle. To continue blurring the lines between outdoors and indoors, I put a central planter here inside the main room under the stairs. Since we only have angular floor tiles, I use these curved ground cover plants to give a rounded look to this planter area. Creating rounded kitchens is a bit tricky. Using the island countertops instead of the regular ones allowed me to create smoother curves here. Since plant sims can fill their hunger need through exposure to sunlight, I didn't need to include a stove here. I did include a sink for their water need, as well as a mini fridge in case you bring any non-plant sims here. I did test it and this is a functional kitchen. Though if you want other sims to visit this lot, you may want to add a grill outside. I couldn't find any windows that worked with the curved walls and were short enough to not be blocked by the counters. So I removed them completely and decided to put up some wall decorations instead. Since plant sims don't need to eat, they probably don't need lots of kitchen storage. So I put floating shelves on this wall with just a couple containers for maybe some garden fertilizers and tinctures they may use. This curvy rug from Seasons is such a unique shape that I had to use it here. It really complements the organic shapes of the rest of the build and isn't an item I get to use all that much, so it was a natural fit here. Having curved walls and wanting to keep this space as open concept as possible doesn't really lend itself to a traditional living room with a TV. But the point of this vacation rental is to connect with nature and other plant sims. So not having a TV in the living space didn't seem like an issue to me, especially since there are plenty of other activities to do for fun here. Because I sized down these bookshelves, I couldn't place objects on them normally and manually raising the objects with the 9 key didn't get things to the right height. To get around this, I used the OMSP wall shelf to place things at custom heights. First I loaded up the item slots with random objects so the ones I wanted to place custom wouldn't snap to those and end up floating. Next I put the OMSP wall shelf to the height of the shelf I wanted to place the objects on, put those objects on the shelf. Then with move objects on, I took them off the red shelf and alt placed them onto the bookshelves. This is a great CC object to have for building that you don't have to keep deleting and downloading new versions of with every game update since it's not a script mod. This is something I always keep in my game.
Placing objects in the curved sections of these rooms is quite glitchy. You can't always easily grab and adjust them, and you end up having to try clicking on them from different angles or by zooming in a bunch. I like having curved walls, but this makes using them annoying. I really hope the team spends time on polishing them up to be more functional because they are fun to have. Moving upstairs, I sectioned this space up into two rooms. This is actually the only interior wall in this entire build. I covered it with plants on both sides and put those island living windows across it as well to keep this space as breezy and open as possible, even with it being sectioned off. This room I made into one of the two bedrooms on this lot. Since there are plants on this wall, putting the bed flush to it had a lot of clipping, so I moved it out about one tile off the wall. To fill the gap, I placed these laundry day tables backwards to look like they're built-in nightstands. Matching wood tones in The Sims 4 can be difficult, but I was surprised at how well some of these wood tones matched across the different pack items I used. One tip I have for mixing and matching woods is to include a few pieces that have multiple wood tones in them that are similar to the different tones you want to use. For example, this headboard has those yellowy and orangey as well as red wood tones and it ties together the windows and mirror to the dresser and nightstand. Non-wooden objects can also do this, like the basket on this plant, which has both the orangey toned and red toned browns in it that mirror those on the wood pieces. This computer is pretty much the only piece of tech I included in this build, just in case your sims need to order anything while vacationing here. This side of the top floor I made into a spa area. Even plant sims can use some pampering. Part of enhancing a spa's ambiance is creating relaxing soundscapes. Since this room is very open to the outdoors, there will be plenty of relaxing jungle sounds coming in, but I wanted to add to it a bit more. To do this, I made some custom fountains by placing these stacked stones and water emitters inside these pots. I used the OMSP red shelf here again to place these objects at custom heights in the same way as before. Fill the furniture slots with random things, put the red shelf at the height you want, put your decor items on it, take them off, then alt place them onto the bookshelf.
This is the second bedroom in this rental. Again, I'm mixing different brown tones here. Got the reds, the oranges, the yellows. To add a bit more color and tropical flair, I use these flower candles on the nightstands. This chair from Movie Hangout really helped tie in the colors from the flowers of the candles to the dark browns of the comforter and nightstands. Same with this ottoman. They don't all match perfectly, but they're close enough to tie together nicely and give a boho feel. The string lights in this room look so magical at night. Staying in this room would be so dreamy and romantic. I want to be here in real life. Although I am a major mosquito magnet and probably would die of blood loss if I actually vacationed here. Literally the moment I walk outside, I get swarmed by mosquitoes and have so many huge bug bites. My spouse on the other hand doesn't really have insects bothering them and even if they are bit by mosquitoes, they don't really get big welts like I do. Are you one of the lucky ones that bugs leave alone or are you a mosquito magnet like me? Let me know in the comments. To get this stone tablet to look like it's on the wall without being covered in vines, I had to delete the wall behind it, raise the stone tablet with the 9 key, alt place it in front of the vines, then replace the wall. Since I deleted the windows in the kitchen, it left this huge blank wall outside. So in true Sims Builder fashion, I fixed it by covering it with plants. Which definitely works here since we are in the jungle, so it's not such of a stretch this time. I included plenty of non-tech activities here so your sims can unplug and connect with the outdoors. You'll see I filled this deck with different things to do. We have a bubble blower, a bar, a chess table, and a telescope out here. At the front, you'll see the walk up to the treehouse stairs is lined with trees. This is an orchard for plantains and forbidden fruit. This way, when your sims arrive, they can grab some forbidden fruit to eat and turn themselves into plant sims if they haven't transformed before arriving. I used a lot of debug plants to landscape this lot. To make doing this easier, I used Twisted Mexi's Better Build By mod. The mod has so many great features, but the organized debug is what I use the most as it's so helpful for builds. This is one script mod that I keep in my game at all times. That's about it for the speed build. I did have to cut out quite a bit, so let's check it out more in live mode. Here is the final build. I think this would be the perfect vacation for your earthy hippie sims to come on a retreat and literally become one with nature. So as you walk up to the main tree house, we have the forbidden fruit orchard lining the walkway here. And then over to the right, we have a garden where your plant sims can work on their gardening skills and chat with the plants that are growing here. Around the entire deck, there are plenty of activities to do outside. We have a telescope to the left and chest to the right here. At the back, there is a bar. And on the other side, we have the bubble blowing area. Let's move into the final living space here. To blur the lines between outdoors and in, I kept it as breezy and open as possible. So there are no walls down here. Every space is open to the next one. Going upstairs will lead us into the spa area, so let's go there next. Imagine how relaxing it would be to get a massage here as you listen to the sounds of nature and look out over the jungle. Through these doors, we have the first bedroom. 
This one is so spacious and has great views up here as well. The windows and the glass roof make it feel like you're literally sleeping in a tree, which sounds like an amazing way to spend your night. Moving on to the second bedroom, we're back downstairs. This one is significantly smaller than the first one, but it's more private since it's detached from the main house and the string lights in here make it look so relaxing and romantic at night. On the side out here, we have a sunken fire pit. Hanging out here, catching the last rays of light as the sun sets, sounds like an amazing way to spend your evenings. This building over here is our yoga studio. Again, I put plenty of activities out on the deck here. So the mat at the front with the stripes is an instructor mat. So you can lead group sessions out here if you'd like. On the side here, we have a meditation spot so you can sit down and get grounded. Back outside, we have the pond area. There's a spot to sunbathe by the water and get your plant sims hunger filled. This building is a shower room. Your sims can come in here and get rinsed off before taking a dip in the hot springs. There are a few hot springs throughout this build. The only one that is functional though is the one that my sim is soaking in right now. As you can probably imagine, this build was kind of a pain in the ass with all the curved walls and the different levels, but I enjoyed doing it and I'm happy with the final build. I hope you feel inspired to play with plant sims and maybe bring them here for a dreamy hippie retreat. If so, send a like my way and subscribe for more videos. Remember, be kind to yourself today and I'll see you next time.